Hi everyone, it's Maria Bird. It is January 24th. Today is new moon and I'm taking you out on my walk. And so new moon, new intentions. So what is your intention for today? And what would you like to accomplish for the next month? Now, before we start thinking about all of that and formulating it, why don't we look back on what we've already accomplished? So look back at what you have accomplished already, what you had a hard time doing. So what was easy? What wasn't so easy? What did you need help in? And what do you still have to do? And maybe taking a really hard, good look at what you have accomplished and what needs to be done. Once you take a really good look, a hard look at it, then set your goals. You might want to break them down a little bit more this time around than um, uh, what you did last, last month. So, what did you accomplish? What was easy about it? What did you accomplish that was hard? You know, what did you accomplish that you needed help with? And what did you just put aside because you just didn't want to, you know, be bothered with it? Take a really good look at that. And the things that you didn't want to be bothered with, now let's break that down a little bit and say, okay, can't stand this. This is the reason why. Um, maybe you don't like the paperwork. Maybe you don't like the financial part. Maybe you don't like, I mean, whatever it is, it doesn't matter what it is. Um, just take a look at it and say, okay, well, I don't like this but I need to do this anyway. I'm going to do it because this is important to me. So part of your goals, part of the discipline of um, accomplishing goals is the passion behind it. What is your why? You know, you'll, you'll hear that in a lot of uh, businesses, you know, the why, the mission. What is your mission behind your goal? What is the purpose? What gives you purpose? And find that and bring that to the forefront as you're looking at the things that you're really are not sure that you, well, not sure, but you really don't like doing. Because if you can get the passion behind it, you will end up doing it. You will end up saying, okay, I have to get over this hump because I really want to accomplish this and this is the reason why. So in order to accomplish anything, you need the drive behind it and you need to practice. There has to be a discipline. When I teach meditation, I always talk, teach about um, it being a practice. You don't become good at anything unless you practice. The greatest singers in the world practice. They are disciplined. They make sure that they do it every single day. And so what do you need to do? What do you need to practice? And what should happen every single day in order for you to accomplish your goal? So today, let's set our goals and put them together and eventually during the week we will talk about oh look there's doggies no hello jumping. No jumping. hello it's no okay jumping. it's no okay. jumping no All jumping right. no jumping <laughs> no jumping nice. All right. thanks so okay so now i'm a little discombobulated i love dogs anyway um what is it that you want today is new moon new intention let's you know really put you know like a, a real 
let's let's you know give it a hard look what did you accomplish what didn't you accomplish and set set the goal set the goal forward this is like the best time of year to set goals anyway uh, January is really bad only because it's still it's still dark out and people are still you know in that sleepy mode but by the time February comes around February you start noticing that the light is shining a little bit more see a little bit more day gives you a little bit more hope and when you're hopeful that's when you should start your resolutions so this is something to think about and I'm keeping you in mind and you know that's my wisdom for today I'll talk to you later bye